Off. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have another card in my 2022 holiday card series. In today's video, we are going to be making some Santa, some Santa shaker cards using a kit from Queen & Co. I had so much fun with these cards. So I believe I need six and all six of these will be available at some point in my Etsy shop. So if you haven't already, be sure to follow there. Um, you can also check out the Facebook page and the Facebook group. I will be posting there as well as our community tab to let you know when cards go live. I had so much fun with these cards and this isn't the first set of shaker cards that you're gonna see in this holiday card series. So without further ado, let's head over to the craft table and we'll get started. But before I do, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I will have my holiday card series videos go up Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Central. Okay, let's go. So I am gonna be using the Heartfelt Holiday um, dies for this card. Um, I've gone ahead and bought the outline dies and I'm going to tell you, if you're someone who wants to get more use out of your dies or your kits, um, I would go ahead and purchase the outline dies. Um, also, I um, most of these only come with enough to make three or four uh, shakers. So I picked up some foam from Amazon that I will link in the description box down below. And I actually cut out the... Um, I use the stitch part to cut out extra foam. So I will show you that in a separate video. I'll walk you through step by step how I did it. So be sure to look out for that because I have Reese. I've already done. I'm going to do some angels. Like we're even doing a lot of kits from Queen and Co. So I spent um, quite a bit of time cutting everything out. I went ahead and just colored black pearls or pearls black for their eyes because the little bitty dots were going to not be my friend. So I was able to find like a peachy color to be um, to work as a, like Caucasian skin. And then I just brought in a really pretty brown for Black Santa. So um, this is the original kit. So you peel off the adhesive from the foam, then you adhere down the um, acetone, and then um, you can acetate, not acetone. <laughs> <laughs> then there is this stitched border that goes on the top, and then you just go from there. So these Santas end up being really, really cute. I have three of each um, race, I guess you could say. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below, would you want these as a set, like two sets of three, or would you rather just be able to pick up whichever one you want? You have to let me know in the comments down below. Um, I haven't listed these yet, of course, but uh, it's something that I want to get done. But if you guys would like an opportunity to buy one and buy them separately, let me know. If they came as a kit, or not a kit, as a set, you would get, you know, the three of either, or you could get all six if you wanted. Um, if you, if I haven't listened to these yet and you're interested in all six, you can just reach out to me either via Etsy or my email address. Both of those links are in the description box down below. And um, it would come with envelopes and it would come with some cute little envelope sills that I bought for this year. So here I just wanted you to see how it goes together. Um, I went ahead and did white for all their beards and on this is the cutest now some of them look a little different because <laughs> well it's me what do you expect so some of them the face is a little bit longer this one the face is kind of shorter um but once you glue on the nose then you put on the eyes he just turns out so stinking cute i just really really love these i think the black santas are my favorite um and i have to figure out where i got this peach cardstock because i only had a little bit of it but it turned out really, really cute. And since I purchased the foam and already have acetate, etc., I can make as many of these as I want. And again, that'll be something that I share with you going forward. But you can kind of see me doing it here. I don't know why I didn't think that I could cut it out with the outline die. Pop. 
past Misty is now mad at future Misty because I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that when that happened. So that's why you see me cutting around the beard. Why did I not think to use the outline die? I have no idea. So I brought in a bunch of different paper. I have all of this scrap paper from Doodlebug. I brought in some paper from My Favorite Things. I brought in some paper from Photoplay. Um, I knew that I wanted some bright and vibrant colors. So I do have a couple that are traditional. Then I have a few that are non-traditional. And I only have one purple. One lone black Santa ended up on a purple horizontal card. The rest of them are all vertical. So this is kind of my design process. I've got a YouTube video on in the back. <laughs> and I'm picking out patterns, etc. So once I've done it, I have these kind of cute label dies from, I believe these are some from C, CC Designs. Yes. And I cut out one, um, the next smallest one, like they're the biggest one and then the next biggest one. So the next business, biggest one cut out the pattern paper. The biggest one is going to end up cutting out um, the same color cardstock as I use as the card base. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. There you can see the wreaths that I've already assembled. <laughs> Those will be coming soon. Okay, so here's what all of our Santas look like. So, of course, we have four that are non-traditional that are going on non-traditional pink backgrounds. And then we have two that are traditional, and they are going on green backgrounds. So now I'm looking for colors to work as my card layers. And I really love this pad from My Favorite Things because it comes with navy and it comes with hot pink. Um, if I can remember, I will link it down below, but it's so stinking pretty. And I don't even think it's a Christmas one. I think it's a birthday one now that I think about it. Anyway, so this is what I decide on for the actual card um, layout. And I went ahead and glued all those together, cut them out with my... Um, wonky rectangle die for my favorite things and now I'm getting everything adhered to a card layer these are a two sized cards so the card layers are cut to four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half or five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and then I've put all of them on um all of them have white on the inside you guys have seen me do that a million times that's why I kind of left it out so I'm just adhering the labels flat to the um, card behind it because these are going to stick out. They're already going to stick up is what I'm trying to say. So I think the navy and the purple one ended up being my absolute favorite. I love this paper. This is from Penny Black from years and years ago. I know they don't make it anymore, but I absolutely loved it. So I'm just adhering them all down with a liquid glue. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring in... Um, a sentiment and I'm going to be heat embossing so I'm pulling out more of my scrap cardstock I keep my scrap cardstock in like this ziploc bag and it just stays on the corner of my desk and I try to pull from there um, before I pull from my big paper storage so I am adding the sentiment toward the bottom so I can move this um, without having to reposition the stamp so I've used a um, static remover and then I'm stamping in Versamark ink and then I'm adding a white embossing powder. Um, I have since moved away from that embossing powder storage because I absolutely hate it. <laughs> it does like the powder gets everywhere. So anyway, after I heat that, I'm going to bring in the small wonky rectangle die and cut all those sentiments out. And then I'm going to adhere all the sentiments with some of the scotch foam adhesive. Um, and they're going to be on the bottom right of all of the um, cards. And then I'm going to bring in some glitter dots. Um, I believe the ones I'm using today are all from Stampin' Up. I don't know if Stampin' Up still carries them or not. And then Rob was the real MVP and ran into Michael's and bought me the last two bags <laughs> of these tiny pom-poms that they had. So here is a look at all of them close up. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. Don't forget, I'm here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. with cards from the Holiday Card Series. Again, if you're interested in these, feel free to reach out to me. But let me know in the comments down below, do you think you would rather have a set of these or if you'd rather just buy a one-off? So that's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you Monday for another video. Bye for now.